Hello guys, welcome to my channel Miss Recap. Today I am going to explain 2012 animated adventure comedy movie called Brave. At the beginning of the movie, we see a little girl named Merida. She was the daughter of a king, which means a princess. The king gifted her an arrow and bow on her birthday. She plays with it and goes to the forest where she sees some magical fireflies. Merida had heard from her mom that these fireflies can change anyone's fate or life. She was watching these fireflies and then a bear attacks her camp while chasing her. Merida's father, the king, fights with the bear and his leg breaks. The story goes on for further years ahead. We can see the king fighting bravely with one of his legs. Merida, who was a little girl, has grown up now. She has three brothers. Merida has nothing like princess. She enjoyed her boyish life. She liked to play outside, hunting and playing with arrows. She also liked to stay in the forest. But the queen did not like her behavior. She wanted Merida to be like the princess. So she spends most of her time explaining to Merida how the princess lived. One day while having dinner, Merida finds out from the king and the queen that many princes are about to come to her palace. Because Merida has reached the age of marriage and Merida has to choose one of them as her partner. But Merida tells everyone that she does not want to marry and she angrily leaves. After some time, the queen tells her daughter the story of four princes to cheer her up. One of them was hungry for her power. So he takes the power of ten people with the help of black magic. But he gets separated from his family. Merida was angry and she was not interested in the story. So she leaves there after throwing everything. The next day, all the princes were in the palace. They were fighting to marry the daughter of the glorious king of the state. The queen had made her daughter ready like a princess, and they also arranged a game for all the princes. The person who will hit the best target will marry Merida. The game starts and no one can do this. Later, Merida goes and hits the target and shows everyone that she is very brave. She doesn't need any man in her life. The queen was very angry with Merida's action and she scolded Merida for this. She was also very angry with her mom, so she cuts her from their family photo and runs away to the jungle. When she reaches a strange place, Merida's horse knocks her down, and she gets the same life-changing magical fireflies. She takes her to a witch who knows how to do black magic. Merida also plans to change her mom through black magic, but the witch warns her that by doing this, anything worse can happen to the queen. She also tells Merida that a king did this a few years ago and now he is in a very bad condition. We don't know about his condition yet. But Merida does not listen to the witch and tells her to do black magic. In exchange, she gave her precious locket to the witch. The witch listens to her and makes a cake out of the magic. She had to feed it to her mom and then everything would have changed. The witch wanted to tell Merida something else but Merida goes from there in a hurry. And when she reaches the palace, she tells the queen, I made this cake for you. The queen becomes very happy and tastes it. The queen's health gets very upset after eating it. But Merida asks her without noticing, has her mind changed? Will I not get married now? But the queen's condition was getting worse. So she forgets her words and takes her to the room. In a while, the queen had changed into a giant bear. She became so scared that she was scared of her own self and she was worried about how did this happen to her. On this, Merida told her about black magic. And before anything gets worse, Merida tells her mom, let's go to the forest. Everything will be fine after going to the forest. But now the problem was about going out because Merida's father, the king, and all the guests were outside. And they also feel that a bear has come to their house and they go ahead to kill him. Merida gets in a lot of trouble because she had two missions instead of one. To make a queen human again and before that to save her from everyone and take her to the witch. Here the king was also looking for her to kill the bear. And Merida asks her brothers for help and distracts the king. And finally, she takes her mom the queen to the forest. She did not find the witch at her house. And messing things up, the witch emerges from a magical pot after some time and tells her if you want to cure your mom, you have to fix all your relationships. You have to break your pride. Otherwise, after two days, your mom will remain a bear forever. Which means she had only two days to make her mom human again. For today, they stay in the forest and next morning, Merida gives fish to her mom to eat. The queen has become a bear, so her hunger was not ending up. 
and then Marina teaches them to hunt fish, in which they have a lot of fun. After all this, they saw magical fireflies in the forest again. Marida suddenly falls while following them. Actually, this was an underground room, where there were four king's coffins. One of them was completely different from the other three coffins. Then she remembers that this is the same king whose story the queen wanted to tell her, and the witch also told him about this king. That the king's end was very bad, that he had turned into a bear like the queen. He had got the strength of 10 people in the form of a bear, and that king is still the same, which she was always seeing in front of her. After seeing all this, she remembers the witch again, in which she told the way to cure the queen. Merida tells the queen that we have to fix the relationships, just like one of three coffins is separate, in this way I cut your photo and separated it, and we have to fix that photo to cure you, but the problem was to bring the bear queen back to the palace. That's why the queen tells Marida a secret way. She reaches the palace but at the place where the king and the all guests were, their attention can't be paid to the bear. That's why Marida goes in front of them and tries to distract them by talking to them. She was saying the same thing to them that what bear queen was explaining to her with gestures, where she says that I and the queen have decided that I will marry the boy whom I will like. She explains to everyone that we should not marry under pressure. Everyone understands this and no one feels bad. In fact, they live happily and in this way, the queen also gets a chance to go to Marida's room. Here the king had also reached Marida's room looking for the queen. And there he gets very angry seeing the bear because he lost his leg because of a bear. In the face of the queen, this bear also looked like the same bear. That's why he wanted to kill him. But Marida was telling him again and again that she is the queen. When the king does not listen to her, the queen has to run out of the window to save her life. And now because Marida does not go out, the king locks her up and gives the key to the servant, goes to kill the bear. Where the bear, the queen was trying to save herself, but everyone had caught her. Here Marida is trying to get out of the room. She sees her brothers have also changed into small bears because of the magical cake. Taking help from them, she reaches there to save the queen. But the king wanted to kill the bear-shaped queen at any cost. That's why Marida fights her father and in the middle of this fight, another bear comes. This was the bear shown at the beginning of the movie. The bear broke the king's leg, the king also knows this. But before the king could do anything, the bear made destruction here. He was about to eat Marida after defeating everyone. Seeing all this, the queen gets energetic and breaks her ropes. First of all, she takes her daughter away from him and then kills her using a stone. She kills him. After his death, the king's soul was free from him. And during all this fight, time passes so fast that it is morning and the sun begins to rise. But the queen was still a bear. Now according to the witch, if she was not get fine, she would have remained a bear forever. Merida had realized her mistake and she was crying. The queen also realized her mistake in that she has always thought her daughter was bad. The magic effect ends with their realization and the picture gets fixed, which Marida had put on her room. As soon as the sun comes, Marida's brother and queen, that is her room, become human. After which we are shown that they are all very happy. The prince who had come to marry Marida had also gone back. And Marida's mom, that is the queen, was also supporting her in every hobby. And this was the happy ending of the movie. Thanks for watching. If you like it, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.